Hallelujah. Today's marriage. Beloved, this morning we're going to study uh, five reasons why marriage is so important. Five reasons why marriage is so important. You know, uh, I keep on telling people that marriage is a calling, it's like a, a ministry. If you're not called to be part of it and you force yourself to enter into it, there will be a lot of issues that you will have in your marriage. So we are going to study the reason why everybody should get married. Hallelujah. You need to get married. So we are going to study the reason why marriage is so important. The first reason, we have five reasons. And the first reason is marriage is a beginning. That is the first reason. Marriage is a beginning. And the second reason is that marriage is uh, oneness. Marriage is oneness. And the third reason why marriage is so important is that it's purity. Marriage is purity. So God is expecting everyone is get married, is get married or not. We will study that one too. And the fourth uh, reason why marriage is so important is that uh, marriage is uh, parenting. Yeah, marriage is parenting. And the last one is marriage is love. So we are going to uh, uh, start from uh, the first one. And like I said, the first reason why marriage is important is that it's beginning. Yes, that's what we're going to treat this morning about today's marriage. You know, marriage is a beginning. Marriage is the beginning, that beginning of the family. And it's a life commitment. Have that in your mind. In your mind that um, marriage is the beginning. The beginning of the family. And it's a life commitment. I want you to under, uh, understand something. That marriage is a beginning and it's a life commitment. Marriage is the beginning. The beginning of the family. Have that in your, in your mind that is the beginning of the family and it's a lifelong commitment it also provides an opportunity to grow in self have this in your mind you grow in yourself you grow in your life and it's a selflessness thing if you get married automatically you, you will not become or you will never become what a selfish person have that in your mind so if you're selfish in your marriage then be very careful selfishness shouldn't be part. It should be selflessness what thing. You push yourself from one position to position in other side. Hallelujah. You move from A to B and you come together with your life partner, maybe your husband or your wife. So have that in your mind that it's opportunity to grow in selflessness as you serve your wife and children. So any husband must serve the wife and the children. Also, the wife also must serve the children and the husband. Marriage is more than a physical union. It also has a spiritual union. Have that in your mind. And that's why I said it is a calling. It's like being called to have, to do a ministry. It And don't forget the spiritual aspect of it. So if you get married and the spiritual side is very weak, automatically the marriage also will be weak. And it's emotional union too. Marriage is emotional union too. So when... You get married and the emotional part is not effective, automatic. The marriage will never last. This union is a mirror. The one between God and the church. The marriage is a mirror between the man and the church. It's between the church and the man. It's a mirror. If I say a mirror, if you look through your marriage, automatically you must see God. So any marriage without God is not marriage. It becomes a marriage. It becomes with a marriage. So if God is not in your marriage, you have a problem. So we should invite God into our marriage. If you stay the Bible, the Bible says there was a time that uh, uh, there was a wedding going on somewhere and they invited Jesus on the way. So when there was a shortage of drink, because Jesus was there, Jesus was able to provide mm -hmm. them uh, a, a drink. There was a miracle. So this man, I'm encouraging you that don't forget that marriage is so important. Invite Jesus into your mind, your life will not be the same. If there is a shortage, automatic, Jesus will be a provider and your marriage will not be the same. God Richard bless you. See you next week for today's marriage. Today's marriage, who knows? God Richard bless you. See you next week.